First, I'd like to say it's a great pleasure to be here with you, and thank you for having this talk with us. Thank you. And on behalf of Veronese, we welcome you to Taiwan. But um, with the SARS virus going out um, on the island and the postpone of the Golden Melody Award, mm -hmm. you still insisted on coming to Taiwan. Um, many people probably ask you the same question, why is that? Um, I've always loved uh, Taipei and coming to Taiwan. I've always been welcomed very much and, and here in, in many respects is, is where um, success started for me um, in the early 90s with these recent spate of, of recordings of mine. Um, so I have a lot to thank the uh, Taiwanese people for. And uh, as regards to the, the SARS situation, um, I'm sorry that everybody in the world is having to, to go through this. Um, but I feel that people mustn't worry too much as long as they keep a respect for what the virus is exactly. and be very careful. So it should be fine. But aren't are you worried? Are you, um, did you study the SARS virus before you came to the island or did you prepare a mask? <laughs> yes, I did. I was, I was advised to wear a mask just in the right. airport and if I went to any, any crowded places like shopping malls or, you know, restaurants or clubs. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, but um, a lot of the time I'm going to be doing interviews with people like yourself, so I won't be going out too much. Mm -hmm. So you're not worried about the SARS virus at all? Um, I have a respect for what it is, as I said, but I, I'm not too worried myself, no. And with the cancellation or the postpone of the um, Golden Melody Award, are you disappointed? I am disappointed because apparently there was going to be, uh, you know, lots of uh, people coming in mm -hmm. that I would have met, and I think the occasion would have been very wonderful. Um, and I think it's sad for the public they can't see it, but right. unfortunately these things happen. One thing for sure that we cannot see your performance, we are disappointed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but there'll be a next time. But uh, we know that your latest album is called Harem, yes. and I looked it up in the dictionary for its definition, and it's actually um, a house where a group of Muslims women live right and also um, in your album you talk about the war you talk about freedom the lyrics are just so beautiful to read Thank and you. so inspiring so I'd like to ask you is this album I can't help but related to the Iraqi war right so is it somehow inspired by the Iraqi situation or you just have a hunch that the war is actually coming because when you're recording it hasn't um, started yet. Yes. Actually, this album, um, Haram, is nothing to do with the political situation in Iraq um, at all. I actually started work on it about two to two and a half years ago, and it was just coincidental that all of this happened. Um, the War Is Over now on the album was in fact originally written as a love song, and if you go through the lyrics, it's poetical about right. love being lost and being away from a loved one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But the, the idea behind the album, the theme, is actually back to um, a far more ancient culture of the Middle East and Asia, in that it goes back to the Arabian mm -hmm. Nights, and a much more ancient feel. Um, right. So that's its, its basic theme. So mm -hmm. I believe that there are many ups and downs. How do you overcome all the difficulties and what keeps you going? Um, I think it's, it's about having a, uh, trying to keep a healthy state of mind through everything. There's always a, a positive to a negative. And as you get older, I think sometimes things get harder, but you learn more and able to cope with more. And, uh, that, and it's terribly important to be happy. And being happy isn't always a natural state of mind. You have to work for right. it. And that's what I try and, try and keep. Recently, the world is going through a very rough time, like, you know, the 9-11th attack and right. the war, and now mm -hmm. all human has to face this threat of SARS virus. Right. And your music comes in now, and many people think of it as a healing effect. Um, when you're actually recording your music, have you ever thought of what kind of effect or a message that you would like to create or to communicate with people who listen to you? I just feel about music that it is such a, it can help people in, in so many ways in that I know that if I'm not feeling good and I listen to some music it makes me feel better. Um, and I know that, that music does have a, a healing feel right. or thing for it. You can, you can take from it what you want. Sometimes you want it to excite you, sometimes you want it to heal you. It's, it's a wonderful gift that everybody's been given to be able to receive this. Um, so that is, that is really um, why I enjoy what I do, because it makes me feel happy and obviously through that other people feel happy mm -hmm. from it as well. But 
Just be careful. And finally, I want to thank you again and wish you a very safe and successful trip in Asia. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. Sarah. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you.